Let's spring into spring. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, the start of a brand new event, lots of shinies, brand new Pokemon forms, and a brand new shiny. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited for this event. I think it's mainly because I skipped um, April Fool's event, and now it's just been so long since I filmed the video, I just can't hold in my excitement. But before we get started, I know, I know, there's so much to do, I just want to go right now. But before we get started, there's quite a few things I need to go over that happened between these two videos. As you know, any kind of gap of time is enough for me to find a shiny. But before we start, I just want to let you guys know, I did find a Gothita during the event that Gothita appeared. Psychic Spectacular. I don't know why it was so hard, but as soon as I got home, I basically incensed one. So here you go, Gothita. And it's definitely spring. <laughs> I also did a bunch of Battle League stuff and I got my very first Landorus. How exciting, Landorus. You know, I say a lot of things about hating Landorus, but personally, I love these Pokemon in their other form. If you guys haven't seen their other form, they are so adorable. They're like these big tigers. They are amazing. You guys will love them, I'm sure. I can't wait for those forms to come out because I do not like the genie forms. So anyway, Landorus. And for some insane reason, my first Landorus was a 98. So now I don't really need to do Battle League anymore because he can't be shiny. And I already got an almost perfect IV, so. Well, job well done. Okay, so here's a big bummer item. Um, I did an evolution off screen. And the reason for this is Go Battle League. I was having trouble with Lapras because I didn't have enough rare candy to power her up properly. She's still stuck at 2000 CP and she needs to be 2500. So it puts me at a huge disadvantage. So I'm like, okay, what else do I have that's good? I had a good IV C dot for Battle League. So I'm like, uh, you know, Nobody cares about Shift Tree. I'm just gonna evolve it right now and see if I can win with it. So I evolved it. Here you go, Shift Tree. Not that exciting. I didn't think it was worth waiting for a video for Shift Tree. And then luck would have it, even though Shift Tree is supposedly good for Battle League, that is not my experience with him. He sucked. I'd wasted a bunch of rare candy. I wasted a bunch of Stardust. I even got him a second move and he was garbage. So. If you want my opinion, don't use Shift Tree for Battle League, it's not worth it. Okay, so we got a new Pokedex entry from an egg, a Why Not, which is really cool, very neat. Wish it was pink, but still, I like Why Not. I think it's a very unique looking Pokemon. Okay, we got another Pokedex entry, Clam Pearl. Very cool Pokemon, super rare, honestly, especially in like just the overworld. In eggs, maybe not as much, but he's still a pretty rare Pokemon. I'm glad I got him. All right, and to start this video off right, before we head off into the wilderness, I'm going to show you what shiny I managed to catch. Now here's the funny part. My GPS has been just insane lately. I'm sitting at home, but I'm actually walking somewhere totally different. So for like an hour one day, I just sat down and just let it wander. I was basically cheating. I was basically spoofing, but the game was doing it, so I didn't feel at fault. This is the only thing that actually happened that was worthwhile, though. We found a shiny. I would say it's not a rare shiny, but I think I'm wrong. I think this is pretty rare, actually. Anything Alolan is pretty rare. Can you guess what it is? Alolan Rattata. I love this dude. He's like this deep blood red. Thanks, Niantic, for the spoofing. <laughs> Let's go do some real walking.
Welcome back to Rock Creek Canyon, everyone. Now this path was actually really long, and last time we weren't able to finish it, so today we're gonna finish the other half of the path and see what we can find. Even though I say Rock Creek Canyon, what I really should say is the Haunted Forest. This place is kinda spooky, <laughs> in case you guys didn't notice from the last video. So we have a lot to get to, but let's start off with an egg. I got a random 10k hatching. I think I have like maybe two other eggs hatching. I have no idea, let's just see what happens. Timber, okay. Ooh, okay, this might be the first 2k of the event. This is exciting! Now I'm told there's a new animation for flower crowns. Yes! Yes! Okay, we dexed our Togepi with a flower crown! How awesome is this? That is so cool. So there's a new animation for flowers, or just hats in general. When they hatch, then the hat just appears rather than them hatching with a hat magically. And our very first, this has got to be our first one, right? Yeah, our very first Pichu with a flower crown as well. Man, this is so exciting. We're getting so many awesome things. Now a lot of these Pokemon can be shiny, which is just extra exciting. We can also hatch Ryolu, shiny Ryolu from 2Ks. So that's definitely something that I'm going to be going for if I can. Got ourselves another Pichu. Very exciting. Pichu can be shiny. Um, Togepi can be shiny. Veneria is out with the flower crown, not in eggs, but can also can be shiny. Oh, and then of course we got Man Munchlax in the eggs too. Can't be shiny, obviously. But still, this is our very first Man Munchlax. Hello. And as for the new shinies, Execute is brand new to the game. And Executor, regular Executor. And that's like all of our eggs. Did we hatch? Wow, we hatched a lot of eggs. Okay, let's do some shiny checks real quick. I haven't checked any of these guys yet. There's gonna be a lot of Torchic out. Cause he's a little chicken. And we incensed a Torchic. Okay. Now there's a lot of things that I have to get to. Obviously I'm gonna fill up on eggs. But first of all, we have our box to open. Oh, 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 no, no. Let's stop for a minute. I gotta tell you about the Today tab. If you guys haven't been keeping up with Pokemon Go, this happened a little while ago. Like, um, around the April Fools event. So obviously this has been out for a little while, but I haven't gotten able to talk about it yet, and today they introduced a new feature. As you can see here, it tells you the name of the event and all the different things that that event includes, like two times lucky egg duration, Themed 2k events, themed wild Pokemon, two times hatch candy, half hatch distance, and then the special bonuses which have to do with the whole virus thing, which are just not really part of the spring event. And then you have the Pokemon and Gyms tab, which I don't have any Pokemon in a gym right now, but if I did, you could see their heart, you could see what gym they're in, you can go bury them from there, and then of course your streaks tells you where you're at on all your streaks. This tab is amazing. I am so excited for this. I am beyond. I, I am over the moon for this. This is the most helpful thing for casual players who just like, they feel like playing today. I wonder if there's an event going on because they are casual, you know, they're not following all the news. They just have to look in here and be like, wow, there's event themed Pokemon? Well, let's go play then. I think it's an absolutely amazing thing that they've added and I'm so happy for it. So now let's get back to what's really going on. My field research. Look at this massive block of yellow. So, okay, I didn't actually click anything, but I think there's a sign that I was supposed to dex this low tad first. I'm pretty sure I didn't click that, but. So anyway, that was in my stacked. Um, it was some task for a low tad. We haven't caught a low tad together. So here's us dexing a low tad. I actually really like this Pokemon. He's super neat. He's really rare in our area. He only comes out when it's raining, basically. Okay. Bidoof. Get out of here, Bidoof. Okay. So now we have our box, which normally I wouldn't be excited about because Pharaoh Seed sucked. Woobat was okay. Five Ultra Balls, ugh. But this one I'm actually excited about because for once it has a possibility of being shiny. Thank you, Pokemon Go, for bringing back the fun. And, not to mention, it's a really cool Pokemon, Alolan Executor. Did we get lucky on our first one? No, we did not. But I am still over the moon. This is so cool. Alolan Executor is like the goofiest looking Pokemon. It's just this giant palm tree and he's too big. So you're just seeing his body. <laughs> and that's it. 
Hilarious. I love this guy. I probably should have pineapped him. No, 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 no. He probably has execute candy. Probably doesn't. Yeah, he has execute candy. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, look at the one on his tail. It's hilarious. It reminds me of the po of the not the Pokemon, the characters from Mario Sunshine. I've actually been holding on to that research for a long time. <laughs> I believe these tasks are the April Fool's tasks. So let's see if I got lucky real quick. Crow gunk, regular crow gunk, and parasect. That's weird. I don't remember doing a parasect task. Cool. That's awesome. That'll be our first parasect. Man, we are dexing like crazy today. And it just, the day just began, man. Awesome. I love Parasect. He's so cool. Poor little crab just infected by this giant evil mushroom. I am back. And now I am a flower crown, Andy. Perfect to go with the spring event, where basically a million Pokemon have flower crowns now. All right, so we're stopping here because we have a few new Pokemon to catch, including Star You. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm excited. I'm going to use an Ultra Ball because I'm afraid this guy's going to run. This, he's like, he's not rare, but he's kind of rare. Like, does that make sense? <laughs> Still, I love Star You. D the design in Pokemon Go is so just perfect. It has like the texture you'd expect and everything. Star You. I don't know. I just love the colors on this guy. I wonder what shiny Star You looks like. I know he's not in the game yet. I wonder if he's cool. Very, very neat. Okay, and we also have Sfeel, which I've been seeing about 10 bajillion of, but I'm never recording at the time, so I can never catch him. Finally, we're going to be adding him to our Pokedex. And man, I think that's like the number one silhouette on my nearby at all times, because he's pretty common, but I just never am recording to get one. Finally, we've got ourselves the Chubby Seal. Just Chansey and Meryl can be shiny in the wild right now. Oh, th thank gosh! Pikachu, you made it to the party! I was wondering when I was going to be able to record this guy. Okay, so this is part of the new event. We got our flower hat Pikachu. Definitely cute. Kind of looks a little old-timey little flat hat right there with a bunch of flowers. I love the bow on it. It's so adorable. This guy is awesome, and I really hope I can find the shiny. If I could just start a shiny collection of hats, that would be amazing. Because I already got the... What was the other Pikachu I got? I can't even remember. Ah, oh, look at him. He's so cute. Hello. Oh my gosh. Figures. He is our first one after all. What was our other shiny Pikachu? I know it was an event hat, but I can't remember which one. Party hat. Okay, okay. Yes. I need to start a collection of shiny hat Pikachus, so hopefully we can get this one today. By the way, I also hatched a brand new Pokemon earlier, Happiny, which is not normally found in 2Ks, but is for this event. So do your best to get him, he can be shiny. We have finally found our first Baneary with the flower crown, yay! Oh, isn't she adorable? Why don't I have any great balls? This is so infuriating. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my ultras, I guess. Hi, little bunny. You guys have no idea how excited I was when I found out Baneary had the flower crown. That was, it's so awesome. I mean, I'm not like the biggest fan of Baneary. I just love bunnies in general, bunny Pokemon. So still, oh, look at that. This Pokemon could also be shiny, which will mean she will be pink with the flower crown. That would be amazingly adorable. And we got a new Pokedex Pokemon, Slugma, the magma Pokemon. We are definitely not missing out on this guy. I've seen him a few times and I'm always wanting to catch them really bad because they're just so cool and I love his evolution. I just love his entire line. Can't wait for him to be shiny. When he's shiny, he will be silver, like molten metal. Amazing. So cool. Oh, hello. What an interesting find. Told you guys this forest is haunted. We did actually hatch a brand new Pokemon, Tyrogue which is pretty cool. It's probably one of the least interesting Pokemon out of the eggs right now, though, because Ryolu's in the eggs. Ryolu. That's what you really want. <laughs> or any of the other shinies, that is, so. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so earlier I was talking about my top three shinies, and this was second on the list, and we just got it. 
Shiny Meryl. What? This is so sick. Oh my gosh. I freaked out so hard when I saw her. I'm at like 2% battery right now, so that's horrifying. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so cool. Wow, look at her. This is an amazing shiny right now because you're not going to be able to catch this shiny Pokemon in the wild, unless it's for an event similar to this one. You can only normally hatch a Zubril shiny and can't find Meryl shiny in the wild, so this is like amazing. Ooh, that is yummy. Got me a blue raspberry cone since it is the, basically the first day of summer. I know it's not technically summer, but it is hot like summer. And we got ourselves some 2K eggs. Now this should be all nine. So this could hold something special. Ooh, already we got our first Ryolu. Okay, I know it's more than one. Pokemon Go! I know it was more than one. Okay, the eggs should be hatching now. Yes, thank gosh. This better be all of them, Pokemon Go. This better not be one. I put these in at mainly the same time. I don't know what its problem is, but... I walked way further than that, but I think it was on Battery Saver, so then it didn't count it. Happening's pretty good. I like that. Could be shiny, and this is like our second only happening, so... Why does it say I only hatched three eggs? It should be all four. Come on, Ryolu. Ooh, well I guess that one. Next time I should ask for it to be shiny. <laughs> Are you serious? There's no way. You may notice it sounds a bit windy out here. My mic cover fell off, and then I walked for like half a mile without knowing that it had fallen off, so I lost it. We made it to this giant cluster, and there's a few Pokemon here we haven't caught. For one, there's a Remoraid, which is really neat. The random fish that can somehow turn into an octopus. <laughs> I really like Octillery, he's such a cool Pokemon. But for now, let's grab ourselves a Remoraid. Also, if you guys didn't know, Remoraid was designed to be a pistol Pokemon in the beginning or a, a revolver, sorry. He was designed to be a revolver, gun. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Uh, you guys can see the, you guys can look up the old design later. It's very interesting. Still a cool Pokemon. And then we also have a Linoon, which is very weird. This is a second evolution Pokemon. He's actually really good for PVP, if you guys didn't know, uh, for Great League. But let's just go ahead and catch this guy. Pretty cool. <laughs> I rather am excited to see a, a second evolution. It's always fun to see those guys hanging about. This guy's really an interesting Pokemon because he's like, he's very animal looking. Like, you know, he doesn't stand up on two legs. He doesn't look super cartoony. He looks, oh my goodness. How many times he can jump out, dude? He looks almost like he could be a real animal, like a real type of badger or something. You would see just hanging out in the woods or by a creek or something, you know? And there he is. Very cool. I always like this guy's arrow. It just reminds me of Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh my gosh. Okay. I did not know about that. I am so glad I decided to stop here. I wasn't even going to. Dratini. Okay. This is our first Dratini. We've already caught a Dragonite before, which is crazier. But still, how awesome is this? This place always has really great spawns, because for one, it's by water, so you're gonna get a lot of the interesting water spawns. Probably why Dratini's here. But also, there's always a big cluster, and you never know what you can find in a cluster. Especially a Dratini! Can you imagine if that was pink? How awesome! Hey, little buddy! Ah, oh, I love Dratini so much! Uh, before we head out, we have one last task. This is a hatch one egg task, which is... It can be two different Pokemon. Oh, we got the cool one! Okay, so it was either Bayleaf, or it was going to be, um, I shouldn't have used a raspberry. <laughs> this is a task, Andy. It was either gonna be Bayleaf, which I was more excited about because it's just crazy cool, a second evolution that is a starter, and also I don't have it yet. Can't be shiny, but still cool. 
The other option was a flower crown Eevee, which is also really, really great to get. So I will definitely be doing more of those tasks if I can. There's a lot of great tasks out right now. Pichu with the flower crown. I love how they did this animation. I, I don't know how many times I've said it, but I will say it again. I love how they did it. I think it's a great touch. Although they are just like creating matter. <laughs> Another Ryolu, fantastic. I don't know what a good CP Ryolu is though. Let's see some sparkles in here. Well, not sparkly, but still cool. Let's get some more Togepi. I need more Togepi. The sad thing is about these flower crowns is that they can't... Oh, hello! Exactly what I asked for. But the sad thing about these, these flower crowns is that they can't evolve, which is really dumb. Imagine a flower crown Togekiss or Togetic. That would be so precious. I can't believe they did that. All right, guys, we got our last batch of eggs. Please be good. <laughs> Ryolu! Pretty good, pretty good. Come on, let's get some more Ryolu action up here. Come on! I mean, I think this is gonna be our last batch. We might get another one after this, we'll see. Togepi! Very nice. What else can we get? Ooh, there's a Scyther. I wanna check that. Come on, come on, come on! Togepi! I like that one. I like Togepi. Come on! Let's get ourselves some sparkles, please! What? Get out of here, Tepig! Get out of here, Tepig! <sighs> Tepig should not be in these eggs. Oh, Tyrogue. Come on, little egg, I believe in you, Tyrogue. I don't believe in you anymore. I think that's it. Really? That's it? And the Scyther's gone now? Wait. Uh-oh. I had a 5k. Ugh! Oh, why'd the Scyther leave? Well, that sucks. I guess we should have clicked on, on him when we had the chance. Alright, well, let's get to our tasks. We have three egg tasks to check. First one. Go on! Oh yeah, Azumarill can't be shiny. Super cool though, this is gonna be a dex for us. Very good PvP Pokemon. This one sadly can't be shiny. That'd be just too much to ask. I always like this Pokemon. I mean, I like Meryl more. I don't know why I like Meryl more, for whatever reason. I sure as heck like Meryl's shiny a lot more. I'm not the biggest fan of like gold shinies, but like a, that, I'm not even the biggest fan of green shinies, but Meryl's shiny is just amazing for some reason. Got ourselves another bay leaf, and our last task. I don't remember what this one was. Flower crown Eevee. Very, very nice. Um, okay. So, like, two minutes after filming that, we suddenly get a shiny lollipop. That was weird. I just clicked on it and I'm like, hmm. That looks different. Yeah, shiny little pup. That is shiny number two for this video. Definitely the least exciting shiny that you could possibly get for this event because there's so many cool things out, but I won't complain too much. Still a new shiny that we need. Uh, we still need one more and then we'll complete the family. That's crazy to think that we're gonna complete a family soon. Let's do an appraisal. Not bad, could be worse. Wow. Well, that was... Oh, and we got some 5Ks to hatch. Okay, we'll do that real quick. Today's been a blast. Man, it's just, it's been a blast. Oh, I guess I'm just hatching one. Okay, well, let's go see what else we can find in the darkness. Okay, so that just happened. We got the other hat, Pikachu. I didn't think this was gonna happen. But then it happened. Wow, it's a female! Wasn't our other one female too? Yes! This is really not one that I thought I'd be getting, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy! Look at that, such a low CP. Wow. Whoa! 
What a beast! Oh my gosh! Well, what a little beast! She may look innocent, but she will beat your butt! <laughs> What was our other shiny Pikachu? It was a male, actually. Okay. Wow. That's insane. We're just sitting here trying to hatch some eggs and... Shiny freaking Pikachu. Let's go find some more. Um, okay. Literally, like, two minutes later. Two minutes later. If even that. We get a shiny Torchic. What? What the heck? What is this luck? What what's happening? What the We haven't even been out that long. What is happening? I mean, I've been out all day, but Don't do that, Torchic. Don't you dare. Don't do this. Did I not use a golden raz? I thought I used a golden raz. Don't mess with me, Torchic, come on! This is so weird. Okay, if you don't believe me about it being like two minutes later, look at this. Look at that. They're right beside each other. Happened moments between each other. Dude, this is my event. This is my event. Wow. Wow. Flower Crown Andy is tired. It was a long day today. Lots of walking, lots of heat, lots of fun, lots of steep hills, and lots of shinies. Today was amazing. Amazing. I had so much fun. Of course, our shinies. We gotta look at our shinies again. This is crazy. Shiny Torchic. Fantastic. I love this shiny. As basic as it is, just swapping the two, like, main base colors, it still just looks fantastic. It's a wonderful shiny. I'm a huge fan. And then, of course, Pikachu with the flower hat. I love this dude. This flower hat is so intense. Like, there's so much detail. I really love it. Big fan. Big fan. Lillipop. Weird find, but... That's totally, that's totally fine. That's awesome. And last but not least, the amazing, the wonderful, Green Marrow. I am over the moon ecstatic for this girl. Absolutely love this one. Out of the, th out of the four, easily. Easily the best, in my opinion. And of course the Rattata, which I talked about at the beginning of this video, but... Meryl takes the cake. But anyway guys, this was so much fun. I can't wait for the next event. I'm always looking forward to them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had just as much fun as I did during this spring into spring event. Bye guys!